Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Brand of Video on the channel. In today's video, we will be breaking down my full push workouts. So no edits with loud music of my workouts. Actually show you guys full sets from my 1st to my 10th to my 8th to my 12th repetition, depending on which exercise I'm doing. Showing you guys the full intensity and more importantly, sharing how I was able to obviously make a body transformation, as you can see on the screen, over the last you know couple of years. I'm going to be sharing some training secrets if you also want to see this for different workouts like my pull workout or my leg workout or even just you know different kind of splits let me know down below uh, and just remember guys i'm giving you guys free value on how to build muscle so if this interests you be sure to subscribe as well the first exercise we're going to be looking at is my incline dumbbell press this is on a on a push workout you have to keep in mind guys i did some warming up sets before this i did my shoulder mobility before this this is my first working set the first thing i really want to look at and i'll let the video play for a second is the following you can literally see the way i'm putting the dumbbells down so before getting into this position i made sure my shoulder blades were up and back so as you can see my shoulder blades are kind of like back you can see the vein in my arm i'm pulling back um, on my shoulder blades because when you put your shoulder blades back your chest is more in front as you can see my chest is kind of like poking out and when i lay down i'll be pushing more through my chest also a tip i use is you can see my dumbbells are on my knees and i simply push them into place you can see how high my knees come i push them into place this is to make sure you're not just dragging your weights up and first of all wasting energy but secondly potentially injuring yourself all right and i also to give you another tip i have the bench at an incline of 30 degrees all right don't use a 45 degree uh incline this is too high all right it, it involves too much shoulder if you want to target the upper chest 30 degrees of an incline is best um so yeah as we can see again pushing the weights into place you can see my chest is forward and from this position i can push through my chest second thing we see my arms are almost at like a 45 degree angle I'm not in this position. If I'm in this position, the only part of my chest that's working is here. Also, this is very bad for your shoulders. Instead, I'm in a 45 degree angle, pushing more through my whole chest and also keeping my shoulders and elbow um, in a more stable and also safe position. Now let's actually look at the set. So that's one, that's two, and we simply keep going. So here I'm actually, as you can see, here and there I'm breathing in through my mouth, all right, usually I'm breathing in through my nose, but on the big reps I'm breathing in through my mouth. I'll actually scroll back a little bit. I said, I told you guys, it's gonna be a full breakdown video of, of secrets to build muscle, so stay tuned. As you can see, I open my mouth on the eccentric part of the movement, so when the weights are lowering down, that's when I breathe in, all right, and when I uh, push the weights up, that's when I breathe out, all right? So you breathe in when you lower the weight, you breathe out when you push the weight up. This is the, the important part. As you can see, my arms are already shaking. I want you guys to look at my, my bicep and my tricep. You see they are shaking. So when I talk about high intensity, this weight was actually pretty intense for me. All right? it, it looks a little bit easier on camera, but you can see my muscles are shaking. I'm pushing myself to a good intensity. I'm focusing a little bit more on breathing in, putting more stress on my core. I'm flexing my core. I'm pushing my legs into the ground. My form stays the same. We go, I think, for less repetition here. Bam. And that's it. I simply lower the weights down. All right. So this is also the way I lower the weights down is even if you fail, you can always get your weights to this position. Let's even imagine for a second you fail. You can always get your weights into this position. Then it's simply pushing forward and using your knees and actually getting them up, you know, to adjust get them down and I put the weights down easily. I don't just slam the weights on the ground. I have respect for the gym, but also respect for myself and for my shoulder, all right? Then the second exercise here uh, is a machine overhead press. The reason why I like doing a machine overhead press is because first of all, it is still a big movement, right? It's still a vertical, you know, pushing movement that easily targets, you know, the big shoulder, uh, so to say. But I like it because it's easier, all right? With an overhead press, oftentimes you have to really watch your form uh, and this and that. And, you know, it's just good on certain occasions to have a sitting down movement where the range of motion is already defined. So the only thing I can do with this machine is push it up and, and lower it down. That's the only thing I can do. It's super easy and you're still overloading your muscles. Uh, I love this grip as well. It's a very healthy grip for my shoulders and I love it. As you can see here, I'm focusing more on breathing in, 
allowing oxygen to go to the muscles, allowing me to not burn out as fast and really pushing harder. Boom. This is a hard exercise for me as well. Uh, I'm using quite a lot of intensity here, as you can, as you can see by my face. Bam. And that's the set. So as you guys can see, there isn't much uh, like setup required with this exercise. There's not really much you can do wrong. The only thing I really did to get myself in a comfortable position is adjust my seat. All right. I'm a very tall guy. So I adjusted my seat to make sure uh, I'm actually in a good position to push the weight up and lowering it down. But apart from that, the range of motion is set. So if you're a beginner going to the gym, I highly advise you using some machines and not going for like an overhead dumbbell press, uh, an overhead barbell press, because that's just too advanced for you probably uh, in terms of form. And I wish I told my younger self to do more machines like this uh, where my gym actually had them. As you can see again, high intensity. This is like my second set as well. Then we go to an isolation for my chest. This is also the way I set up my uh, push workouts, guys. A big movement for the chest, big movement for the shoulders. I isolate my chest, I isolate my shoulders, and then I have a, a tricep isolation as well. As you can see right here, obviously I'm, I'm sweating as well, but shoulder blades back once more, really pushing them into the chair uh, or, or the seat next to me or behind me. Once that's set up, I come forward and then you can see I still set, set myself up for my chest. All right, my chest has really grown because of this exercise. And as you can see on the left, I'm not using a lot of weight, but this is the main tip I wanna give here. Each and every repetition, I imagine myself or I imagine my pecs, so my chest muscles, pushing the weight. I don't just do this with my arms. I literally imagine myself with my chest moving the weight. As you can see right here, my elbows are aligned with my chest. I don't do my chest flies here. I don't do them all the way here. I do them in the middle to fully contract my chest. This is a position where I feel my chest work the best. That's why I'm doing my chest flies right there. When I'm here, I literally imagine myself, and you have to try this, imagine yourself moving your arm across, just using your pec. I can feel my chest work right now. This is something I never had, you know, when I was skinny back in the day, but I can literally feel my chest moving, <laughs> just doing my arm. So try and develop this mind-muscle connection of really having your chest move the weight. Because once you can isolate the muscle of your chest moving the weight, it's insane. And as you can see, my arm is looking pretty big on the right. I love this angle when I was looking it back. I've gotten so much bigger over the years, man. It's crazy. So bam, slow on the way down. Bam. Like this is one, two, and back. One, two, and back. Bam. This is my last repetition, as you guys can see. There's a little bit of a pause here, contracting the chest even more. And then I fully let it go, all right? Then we have another isolation uh, of, of the side races using a cable. There would probably be more insights of me sharing the side races with uh, dumbbells. I use the wide angle of my camera here. It looks a little bit funny. But again, right, this machine is pre-set up for you. The only thing you need to do is adjust your seat and go through the motion. As you can see, you know, when I push up, I only push up to about 90 degrees, a little bit higher. You don't need to go all the way up. I feel my shoulder burn. And the main thing I try to do is you have weights on the left here. The stack moves up and down. What I try to do is I make sure the stack never hits the other stack. Because once the weights are fully together again, all the tension is, a, is, is gone. But when here is the other stack of weights, and this is a stack I'm using, and they never touch each other, there's always tension on my muscle. So just make sure the stack is never touching each other. You can see I'm zoning in. <laughs> I'm thinking about the afterlife. <laughs> you can literally see I'm 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 uh, I'm dying because the burn is so is so hard on the exercise. And then I'm doing a, a tricep extension. The main rule here of, of every arm isolation in the world is to not move your elbow. Your elbow stays in the same position, and everything just comes to your tricep, right? Um, to be honest, this is a very bad machine. Like the extension is not set up right, in my opinion. But as you can see, the gym was pretty packed, so I had to use whatever I was able to use. And you will probably see me cheat near the end as well, all right? You can see I'm moving my elbow just a little bit. It's a little bit of cheating, but I still feel my tricep work. You can still see my tricep moves most of the weight. Um, and this is like more advanced muscle building. So to say, if you can actually cheat using your elbow movement, but still isolate your tricep, then why not? All right, why not get a couple extra repetitions if this means, you know, cheating a little bit. So this is simply what I did. I let the weight go. 
and that's my push workout all right nothing too fancy i hope i shared a couple of tips definitely on the dumbbell press that's the main one i wanted to give tips on but guys i use machines i only use five exercises high intensity i did four sets uh, of the first two exercises and then three sets on all the latter ones uh, so in general or in total that is around 17 sets and my workout is finished i'm usually in and out of the gym in under an hour uh, and it's amazing i do this you know push pull leg six days a week and i've been building a lot of muscle on it uh, it all comes down to recovering afterwards using right intensity i'm breaking down enough muscle fibers and we're making some gains so with that being said if you enjoyed this video you want more breakdowns let me know it's kind of like a new style of video i wanted to test and give you guys some real life value on how working out works if you need some help working out and you want to actually apply these tips to your situation and build muscle guaranteed you can always dm me the word muscle to my instagram and i'll see if i can help you fill out your t-shirt with that being said i see you in the next one let's make these gains